This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performance does not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk and there's always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. This is the JDFN Forex Report. Good afternoon, traders. I'm Scott Norris here with your Forex Report. Today is Tuesday, October 20th, 2009. The greenback is fighting back in the broad market today in what has been a tug of war so far this week. Bulls and bears are battling it out as we reach critical levels in many markets, both technically and psychologically. As we noted last Friday, it is not an easy business calling tops and bottoms in big trends. While we have been willing to place some confidence in the dollar on a very short-term basis, our gut is that long-term trends are not fully exhausted yet. This means higher stocks and commodities and a weaker dollar. Today's economic reports showed housing starts at a weaker than expected pace, while prices for producers dropped. With weakness in the economy and little, limited signs of inflationary threats, the Fed is likely to stay very loose with money for now. This has been an underlying driver of the market activity over the last six months. In other news, the Bank of Canada decided to leave rates unchanged this morning. This clearly disappointed some market participants who may have been expecting Canada to follow the Reserve Bank of Australia and tightening monetary policy. The BOC governor reiterated the bank's discomfort with the dollar cat exchange rate nearing parity. One currency strategist said the statement today was a frontal assault on the currency. This left traders with the impression that rates will stay at a record low for some time. Meanwhile, Australia and, Australian and Japanese officials are expressing comfort with further appreciation of their currencies. Still, the greenback's rally today was widespread and both the Aussie and Yen lost ground, although not nearly as bad as the CAD. As we near the end of trading, stocks are still in negative territory, but well off the worst levels of the day. This may keep a lid on the buck in coming sessions unless foreign stocks find a reason to tumble substantially, creating some demand for safety. Till tomorrow, have a great night trading. Take care.